Hey everyone, today's topic that I would like to share with you all is how do I limit screen time for my kids? So what happened recently was one of my friends visited my home and we had a big conversation on this particular topic. Then I thought, why not share it here with you all? Like how do I limit their screen time? In my home, there is a rule that for them, the screen time is for one hour. So what do they do the rest of the time? Well, before I go there, I would like to tell you all that when my elder one was 18 months old, I did ask her pediatrician that how long can she have screen time? And this is what he recommended. Below two years old, it's zero screen time. That is what a pediatrician recommended. I don't know if that is really possible in today's era, but that was not practically possible for my case, in my case. And then for a child above two years old, he said you can give one to two hours screen time. So I thought, why not give it a try with one hour first? And then I can gradually increase if really needed. So first thing what I do is, uh, whenever the screen time is done, they know the rule. As soon as it becomes one hour, I tell her that, it's over now. So if you want to follow the rule, then you need to turn off the TV. And as I said in my earlier videos, always that kids really love to follow rules. And that's how she turns it off. But what next? As soon as she'll turn off the TV, she'll become like, what to do now? I'm getting bored. And I think every child does that. I don't know. I have not asked it to anybody, but I'm asking you all that. Does your child also say this, that I'm getting bored? Well, what do I do at that time? I have a few activities which I make sure they do and number one is painting. My daughter loves to draw and I think most of the kids do. So we have enough of painting things at home and whenever they want, they grab one and start to draw. Well, they ask me what to draw sometimes and that is a good thing because when you tell them that this is what mama wants you to draw, they get motivated and they try to visualize that and draw it for you. Or I also give them printouts from the internet, any random picture, whichever they want. I give it to them like you will get many coloring pages over the net and you can print it out for them for them to color and keep them engaged. Second one is music. They love to listen to music and dance. That's what I have taught them because sometimes I also join them in that activity. And we play music in our music system or they have Alexa for kids in their own room. So both of them keep on dancing, listening to the music. So that makes a great time pass, I would say. If you have not tried it before, then do try it out and see how hours will pass by just dancing and listening to music. Even, you know, sometimes they will clean up by listening to the music. So I just play the music on and I ask them to clean up their room. And that's a great way to make them clean up their room. Try it out. Third thing is books. I buy them lots and lots of books. And also we have enrolled in our nearby library from where we get enough books for them. While my elder one can read herself, but with my little one, we spend some time every day reading books to her and that way they keep themselves really engaged. And fourth thing, which is another one of my favorite is paper cutting. I give them a kid scissor and a paper or a printout while the home becomes messy. Yes, the home will become messy, but they get to pass that time and that's what I want. And the last thing is playtime. It's not a normal playtime, but it's playing with some specific toys, which I love. And one of them are magnetic blocks. This really keeps them engaged. They can make different sizes, shapes, buildings, and a lot more. They can use their imaginations. They can get more and more creative. And I absolutely love magnetic blocks. I have shared it in my another video also that how helpful it has been to my kids. So yeah, if you do not have a magnetic block, then go and get one and see how your kids can keep themselves engaged. One more tip, which I saw in one of the YouTube videos itself, and that worked for me as well, is when my elder one really does not want to turn off the TV, I tell her, when you grow up, you can watch as long as you want and nobody's going to stop you. And then she says, okay, fine. When I grow up, I will watch a lot of screen time. And if you tell me anything, I'm not going to listen to you. I say, okay. And that's a deal now. And thus our TV gets turned off. Hope you found this video helpful. Please subscribe for daily parenting stories and parenting tips. And let me know in the comments below which activity you like the most to spend with your child.